I think you can still love your country and be like critical of it. You can, in fact, that means you care, right? So we're working on this project for 3M. And this is my best friend, Sof O. <laughs> this is why we work together so well. <laughs> we are doing this giant mural using the extreme post-it notes. Oh, I think they chose me because thicker lady, lah, you know? It's been eight years, eh? And people still call me that. I hated that sticker lady name. And I wanted to prove to myself and to everyone I can do more than that. I always take stuff outside, right? This one like my repentance, ah. <laughs> Samantha Loeb dubbed the sticker lady causing a stir among authorities and bloggers for spray painting singlish phrases and pasting stickers in public property. Really strict laws against vandalism. She would be facing potentially jail time. The main point wasn't to challenge what street art was or what graffiti or vandalism was. I mean, I always look at the public spaces like we can play with them. I really wanted to take back the streets to feel a lot more like Singapore. Singapore very smart, no? They never put public space. See all those empty <coughs> fields of grass? They will put state land. State land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, it belongs yeah, to the yeah. G. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. belong to us. Yeah. I had an idea to actually do Grandfather Road. Because I was done. I was very like tired of doing stickers already. And I told Anne, so I'm like, hey, I'm thinking of doing this, what do you think? He's like, for money? I'm like, no lah. Then he's like, oh, then can do. Carry on lah. Just carry on. <laughs> yeah. That was the one outside uh, MND, right? Eh? Yes. That was the first place we painted at. Opposite MND. How I knew that we were in trouble was that there were six plainclothes policemen who came to my house. They came to my room to search my room. They found my stencils. They found my stickers. So pretty much quite obvious lah, all the evidence there. So I told them I had to go to the toilet. I texted all of them straight away. And I was like, okay, police in my house, can't talk much. Um, where's Anne's? <laughs> uh, Anne's was at the airport. Flying up to Melbourne. Yeah. Boarding gate. I was telling you, like, I think you're going to get arrested when you come back. Oh, so dusty. Oh, well. Okay. Hey, hey that's out. you, not guilty. That, I ah. said I was guilty. You know, this is different. Look, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as the, the facts come in as to what happened, all I could think of was, is that all she did? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, no, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they said vandalism, right? So to me, vandalism like is Jala really... Went over the, yeah, 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 I feel yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's vandalism to me. And then of course, you have to be punished, sure. But it's just that when I, when I understood the extent of how you were being punished, that's so wrong. Which is why I wrote the post about it right, and said, right, no, this right. is my niece Sam. Mm. And I'm very proud of her because, you know, da -da 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 -da. The, the big obstacle we had to get over was that you were not going to be convicted. That you're not mm. going to be put in jail. The moment that happened, me and Laurie, yeah. we went out from our place Damage control. <laughs> to, to, to find whatever stuff that she left on the streets <laughs> to remove it. Thanks, guys. So yeah. every single thing that you, you leave, it's an additional charge. I'm sorry, that's she like the scariest experience of my life in terms of like reverse bombing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there were people who got caught before, like uh, from the graffiti like, the community. So they were being charged for like trespassing, vandalism, but no one knew about it. And then Sam got caught. Sam was just thrown into like the limelight. Like, I, I, I really thought that I, I was quite successful being anonymous and I realised that it blew out of proportion. It was out there and I didn't expect it at all and everyone knew that it was me. I felt like everything I was doing was going to be watched, you know? I felt paranoid as fuck. Everyone had an opinion about me. Everyone would... And people were digging into my social media and trying to find out who I was with and like... Talking about them on Hardware Zone. Imagine seeing that. So when that happened, I closed a lot of myself off. And I'm not like that. Mm. I'm not that person, you see? That's when it happened that way, right? It was hard for me to open up again. Mm. So, mm. wow, fuck, man, I keep crying. But oh, like, it's you okay, know... It's okay. No, because I'm just thinking of all these feelings again. And well, then I realised how 
how hard I was as a person. I had to push all my emotional feelings aside. I never processed it until four years later. It was hard. So now, only recently, when I managed to actually like deal with it properly, <laughs> then I could see and feel all over again. Mm. I realized how much hurt I caused to other people who care about me. <laughs> and that's the guilt I face. And, and I can really feel how much it changed me. <laughs> so I'm not living 100%. But maybe that's for the better. What would 100% be for you then? I don't feel like I have to restrict myself. Mm. I stopped having fun. For many years. Mm. So that compass itself was hard to find. Mm. Yeah. Because you love Singapore? <sighs> like... Is it as simple as that? Mom and Dad are here. Mm. There's all these questions that I wanted to bring up and you see all these rats that power the CCTV cameras that watch them. And you see there's one corner, one of the rats is actually trying to escape. And there's this aspirational quality to it, which I wanted to put through in the works for us to take back the power in our own hands. And so this piece is the continuation of the rats' story of how it takes that power back. <laughs> now, getting the gist of it first so I can see properly what I'm trying to do. You tell her how you feel about that piece in particular, she would take it in. I don't feel like art is a pretentious thing. Because of her, I started to learn more a bit about art. I hate to say this. It's my first time hearing about this, which is great. And you do the sun. No, I don't. feel she's the person I trust the most. And whenever something happens, I confide in her first. She will help me reason it out. Like I said, she grounds me. And when I'm like feeling like, you know, imposter syndrome, like Yeah, that hits you hard. Yeah, that hits me hard. Like because everything I did was self-taught. I just didn't know when I was learning things right. And so all these insecurities that come together. She's very soft. Yeah. Hey, Thomas the train. What the scout of person is it? Train to Busan, Thomas the train. How about that? Oh shit, okay, I just got it. Okay, let's go. I remember we were on the ride back from Cantonment at night. Yep. Dad was saying like, you know, did they handcuff you? And I'm like, yeah. And he said, get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I got back, I managed to like, borrow a laptop from my dad. And I went on Facebook. And everyone just changed all the DPs to like the black and white sticker. Mm. I brought it downstairs to my very depressed dad. Mm. And I showed it to my mom. And they both realized like, hey, you know, we're not alone. Mm. And that really like upped our spirits a lot mm. more. Yeah. That's great. So That's I great. never forget that. Samantha Lo Sin Hui has been ordered to perform 240 hours of community service. This will be supervised and must undergo counselling. The pair are charged with mischief and not vandalism. Ooh. You're just doing things for fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Then suddenly yeah. everybody's like, she's an artist. Yeah. No, 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 wait, hang on. Must rewind a bit. First day vandal. Vandal. Yeah. Art, yeah. Art, See how the media changes everything? Rarely anyone spoke of ants. It's always in the background, but people talk about Sam like they know Sam very well. This is super unfair. It's really, really unfair. Yeah. I went two or three years, I went quiet. I just turned down commission jobs because I was focusing on my craft. I just want to be good. Mm. And I can tell you, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be here doing this if I didn't put in the work. Mm. So I still feel like there are a lot of people who still say, oh, because you got arrested, that's why you got these jobs now. Mm. And I'm like, then you don't, my, know, you don't know the half, lah. No, yeah. Not even half, it's yeah. more than half. Mm. This one was in 2016, right fresh out of my hiatus. Then Four Fingers contacted me. They left it up to me to determine what I wanted to paint, which was amazing. I mean, it's quite important to me. Ever since then, I never stopped. I, I never stopped at all. Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to my crib. 
And so right here, we have a couple of like the mechanisms that we use to apply the paint. So these are called spray cans. We also have a couple more over here. So I think that's basically it. It's a small house. Singapore is expensive. <laughs> now there's this little boy For this mural, it's like, I want it to fit into the neighborhood, to represent what it's like in today's times and also pay homage to the past. I personally see her grow like from to know how to draw to know how to sculpt. I think it's a really big jump. Uh, yeah, lo, that's it. Lo. We're still friends. I still see her as Sam. Normal. La. First thing was, and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There was. Yeah, then, but the thing is that to me, right, I'm like all feeling, and he's like a chill, you know? So, like, we never really like addressed it. Like, you like girls, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Problematic statement, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it is important I'll to acknowledge now. that whatever happened with Sam actually changed part of the landscape. We were only like, discussing how to get legal walls, remember? Yes. Then it just made things faster. Yeah, <laughs> correct, correct. Actually, that's true though. We call it commission murals. Yeah, because we know, we, we have to say it as what it actually is. It's not, I mean, like, it's in the streets. You can call it part of street art, but it's not street art when, mm. as how we know it. Yeah. Like, we can't complain because that's how we pay our bills. I really enjoyed this so much. I'm sad it's coming to an end. But I'm also very tired. That's the so that I can't. It's easy. Oh, it's too nice. When that thing happened, right? And there were people saying things like, I'm disappointed because you did, you did this Sentosa job and I thought like you were someone else. Like, I thought you were something different. And so the idea of me, right, was romanticized even to the point that I couldn't even like go out and do a commercial project because you think I'm selling out. Yeah. So, what is your idea and your perception of a street artist is not my being. You know, I was actually thinking that I never saw Sam even during Chinese New Year. <laughs> never saw you much at all. Yeah. And then suddenly, yeah. boom, like that. Yeah, yeah. And then next day I know you're like, oh, you're like 20 something years old, you know, you're like, how old are you now anyway? 34 this year. No way! Yeah, and it's not so much about like how much you've changed, but it's kind of how you're really, your, yeah, like you're Sam, you're your own person. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can just say, oh yeah, she's my niece, you can just sort of like roughly say it, but yeah, at the end yeah. of the day, you're just Sam. Yeah. Sam Lo. Then people yeah. go, what, Sam Lo? Hey, yeah, Sam Lo. It's kind of weird though. <laughs> oh, it's better than Sticker Lady, really. Yeah, it's way better than Sticker Lady. Sticker Lady Shit. is really polite, but also kind of like, Mm, not you, not you guys don't get it, do Yeah, you? people don't know me. La. Yeah. yeah. It was just be easier. Seven years ago, I was charged. And the thing is that, if people were to think that I got what I got because of what happened then, they did not see what happened within the eight years ever since the arrest. And if anything, I know that I proved myself. Or maybe I'm constantly trying to like, be better every day. You know Russian twist, right? Then you like that. Then like that. Yeah. I sound beautiful!